we all know, since we are Philadelphians, we know the meaning of John. For those that are not of Philadelphia, John. J-A-W-N. Yes. It, it is yeah. an expression that we have here in Philadelphia that can mean literally anything and everything. That John over there, this John over here. Da, 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 da. You talk with that John over there? Good. What did that John say? What is it? You know, it can go with anything. So, who decided to attempt to capitalize on our slogan? Oh, that's easy. None other than the attorney firm Morgan & Morgan. They decided to make a billboard that is on the Spring Garden Bridge. And it's called, I'm John Morgan. And I was like, wait a minute, what? So let's dig into this real deep, real quick. It's an opinion piece from the Philadelphia Inquirer. John Morgan commits the ultimate Philly sin. The Morgan & Morgan founder, John Morgan, knows he's stirring the pot with his new billboard and that was his goal. So it's not every day that you see someone commit the ultimate Philly sin. And, even, and it's even more rare when it happens on a giant billboard right in the middle of Center City. But it's exactly what John Morgan has done with his latest advertisement for his Florida-based law firm, Morgan & Morgan. I'm John Morgan. Reads the billboard on the Vine Street Expressway near the 23rd Street offering. If there's one thing Philadelphians hate more than someone taking a parking space they dug out during a snowstorm, it's a non-Philadelphian messing around with something they hold near and dear. That sign dares to go where no out-of-towner should in the city of brotherly love, acting like you're from here when you're not. Morgan, who was caught up with by telephone for this story, knew he was stirring the pot. Quote, that was the idea. The goal is always to be remembered and to be talked about and to be top of the mind. So according to his LinkedIn page, where he's uh, listed as from Lake Mary, Florida. Uh, where's Lake Mary, Florida, GPS? Right, my Florida's bad right now. I tell you. <laughs> your Florida's bad, but your drinking is good. So that's yeah, fine. Floridian. Floridian is not good right a Florida, now. A Floridian? No. Yes, I think it's Floridian. Something like that. But either way. So on, a, you know, on his LinkedIn page, he said, of course, he's from Lake Mary, Florida. And before the billboard, he had never even heard of the word John. Not cool. If you wouldn't use that word in casual conversation, you shouldn't try to use it to make money off of it. People feel some type of way of that sort of thing. I'm used to it my whole life, even as a radio moniker. The Classics John said Manuel D. Glenn of 107.9 Radio, who's a Philly native and a radio personality. A John is a noun. It's an adjective. It's everything a John needs to be. I kind of claimed it as a black term that eventually all of Philadelphia has embraced. Its use by outsiders is a form of cultural appropriation. And a lot of people really had their opinions about this. So let's just get right into it. So Cortez, GPS, and of course myself, and uh, Marsha, who is not here at the second, we know the significance of John. We have been raised on that John. So the man that can talk about this John is that John, that man right over there, Mr. Cortez. Please share. Yeah, um, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. If you putting all that energy into John, should he be putting that much the same energy into his law firm, man? Ooh, well, let's be real, man. He's making money. It's fancy. Ah, he's making money, but fancy gimmicks in the long run, man. I'm not. It's not gonna make me hire you as a lawyer, man. I'm looking at your. I'm looking at your your track record in the courtroom. I'm not looking at whether or not you know my slang, man. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, maybe it was a little inappropriate for him to do that, to throw that out there like that, man. But at the end of the day, cause I, I, you know, I'm riding on 95. Mm -hmm. All I see is lawyer billboards, man. Yeah. It's, 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 that's all I see, man, with mm -hmm. these fancy gimmicks and everything. True. My job, you know, yeah, they do catch my eye. But at the end of the day, when I make my selections, I'm I make my selection based on your track record. I'm not looking at how fancy your billboards are because, mm -hmm. you know. Those billboards, I think, how much are they? I think they're like 2000 a month. Because I was curious. I was curious. I called in and asked them. I think it was 2000 a month, man. Wow. To put something up on a billboard. Mm -hmm. The digital ones are probably cheaper because they can recycle it, man. But the ones where you got to make the graphics and all that mm -hmm. stuff, man. Yeah, I was going, I was thinking about putting some artwork up on one, man. Just to, just to see, man. Just to have it rotate because 
it gets a lot of traction, man. You will get calls if you put that stuff up on a billboard out in 95. I just got an epiphany. That's a perfect idea. You want to counteract this Morgan & Morgan, Mr. John, John, I'm not John Morgan? Put a billboard up with one of your pieces of artwork, I'm the real John. And then your face comes up, and then your artwork, and then your website. GPS, no, that little, I think I just gave him some free money. Man, free but then that, that, then that motherfucker probably would track me down and, and tell, hit a Donald Trump saying I stole his word. <laughs> Maybe Donald Trump did that God. shit a couple years ago, man. He tried to... What, it? What, what word he was trying to trademark? You got fired. You're fired. Something you like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this Joker man, he probably take John and trademark and say it's his. <laughs> but you know, yeah, the whole be, city to fight first. Yeah, so. he would. I mean, I would. Okay. You, it would be a smart move. I mean, that's like that's like a trademarking a name like the Santa Claus or trademarking uh, anything else. Stakes. Cheese steaks, yeah, nice exactly. And, and, and of course, I got to mention this: uh, we just recently had National Cheesesteak Day in Philly, so you know. Oh hopefully, yeah, yeah. Hopefully Let everybody had a good begin. time. Hopefully everybody had a good time this week. But GPS, now it's your turn to speak on this joint. I understand the play on the word mm -hmm. from John to John, but had you just held a Philly cheesesteak in your hand? Oh God, that's too much butter and. And said, "Hey, I'm John Morgan, and I like so much cheese steak. That's the real John. And just had somebody put the two words John and John above each other somehow, some way, and you would have made it. But you took something and made it something it's not. And you want us to understand it a different way. Yeah. It's like trying to say." St. Mark's Avenue is in the Bronx. We all know it's not. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? It's like saying a hundred. It's like saying Fordham Road is in Brooklyn. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Um, I understand, but not nah, that. That wasn't it, boy. That wasn't it. Oh, that wasn't the real John. No, no, no. That ain't, that ain't the John. That ain't the way to go. Not the way to go. It's just. Uh... There are certain names, there are certain things, like, for it, it's a crazy example, but think of Sopranos, forget about it, you know, forget about right. it. it, it's very, uh, let's say, and, and forgive me if this is not true, but it's very, uh, I guess, Italian-esque, it's part of the, the staple of vernacular and language within certain, not all, but certain maybe Italian communities and groups. You know, maybe in New York you might hear that. Oh, yeah, forget about it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. You know, keep it moving. That type of deal. It, it, I, you know, those are the things that are staples, certain phrases. So, uh, Cortez, what we were saying before, like, forget about it in New York would be the same kind of example that we would use here in Philly for John. It, it, it's just certain things. You, if, you, if you're not built for the word or the phrase you shouldn't be using it in vain so i agree with uh, this uh, opinion 100 no, percent look john you got some black folks that work in your office oh shit here we go i'm the idea about them hey i'm thinking mm -hmm. about putting this up on the billboard and they would have either said yay or nay real quick mm -hmm. and you i don't know well i don't know i don't know bro because sometimes you gotta be careful how you talk to your boss, especially if your boss is 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 is, is, is a slight tidge racist. <laughs> yeah, is he? Well, right now I ain't trying to say slight tidge a fool. So I think <laughs> he'd true. rather I think he'd rather hear it that it's not something that's going to work mm -hmm. versus uh this thing right here mm -hmm. that. Uh, now you got a billboard sitting up here that's basically miss the, the, the grammar's all wrong. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, so I mean, come on. But but can, can we can we all agree on this? The reason because that billboard came up was not because it was a great idea, but it was what from what Mr. GPS just said there and Mr. Cortez. You know, if you would have people of color, uh, you know, get their opinions first. Then it might not have went the, the way that you wanted to. But seeing that possibly, and I'm going to stress possibly, you do not have people of color working at your establishment. You just figured, oh, I'll just put this up. Wouldn't that, couldn't we really call a spade a spade? 
because mm-hmm. he ain't got he ain't got no Jones at work. <laughs> he got not one John at work. Okay. So he figured, hey, I heard this around the way. Let me use this. It almost sounds like my name. So I think I can get away with it. Who do I have to ask? Do I have any Jones here at work? No, because I don't hire anybody like that. Supposedly. Supposedly. Let's just say that. No, what he did was he he went on Google, did a Google search, man, a popular words and fill and came up with that. Yep. I don't think he did. I, I think he really didn't. He just wanted something that was going to be catchy, man. What he should have, what he should have did, man. If he really wanted, because I think, to me, I think he was trying to definitely aim for for the black market in general with that man. Oh, absolutely, hundred percent. But the thing about it, you know, the young folk ain't using it like that, man. Are they? I don't think the young folk use John like we do. No, I don't think so. I don't think they do. If you've seen, if you've seen that billboard while traveling, you know, let us know what you think about it. Send us a comment and everything. Are all of our different avenues. Just let us know what you think about it. Check this out on our YouTube page. Let us know on our IG, gfiradio at gmail.com. Give us your opinion and do you think that is this John working or not? Because that's what we really need to know. So I'm sorry. To me, that John don't work. For Cortez, I don't think it works. GPS, we know it absolutely doesn't work. So sorry, uh, Mr. John. I wish I was a John Morgan. No. That's that's thumbs down. Total thumbs down. 